Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 9 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, with all the bales gone off of the first half of the field, field 18 that I'm on now, I baled the first lot and I had 160 bales and with what I already had that took me up close to the 200 bale limit. So what's happened now is all those bales have gone, they've been shipped, they've gone off to where they needed to go to. Um, so I've then started baling the rest of the field where I'd left all the straw swaths. <laughs> and if my calculations are correct, I'm going to check this in a minute because I'm just going to... Uh, do I need this one? I think I've one or two left in here. I'm up to about another 80 bales. 82, 84, I mean, something like that, on this part of the field. So this field has given me, so far, 200, 240 bales. Uh, that's absolutely crazy. Um, so these are probably going to be part of the contract to go to Green Energy Solutions as well. They're going to get another load shipped. So as well as the 160 they've already had, there'll be a load off of here. Um, so yeah, we'll just check in the menu actually. Hang on a second. Yep, 82. Awesome. when it's past six. It's amazing what difference 24 hours in the real world makes uh, when you're playing a game. Uh, payment. We have been paid and we've been paid handsomely. Um, all of the um, oats that needed to be dispatched has been dispatched. That has been gone. Um, John messaged me to say he was over the moon, really pleased with how quick the response was. The shipping had been done. Rather than paying me 175000 he paid me 200000 That was very generous of you, John. Thank you very much. Um, the contract for Green Energy Solutions, they had their 150 bales, which secured um, more than 15%. They said if they got 15%, they would pay the full amount. So they paid 276000 which bumped us up a little bit. Then there were the little contracts, the two or three in between. I say little contracts, the other contracts. 10 bales uh, going up to Yorkshire for Ethan then there were the smaller amounts of oats that were being sold so that brought the, the amount right up so we're now sitting at 580 we were on 500 and we're well, just below 590 but I bought another piece of equipment I've come to collect the cultivator because we've got to cultivate field 18 and fertilize it field 21 that we seeded has now got hang on has now got first growth in it so the corn is now growing in farmer eric's field on field 21 that is fully fertilized now as well i believe if i've done my job properly <laughs> fingers crossed first growth stage and soil composition oh yeah we didn't plow did we oops but it is hang on a minute oh and no, i've got to do a second fertilizing state yes that's right. Um, I'm going to put some narrows on that and come out because that needs doing. Right, our own field then. Weirdly, we've got these little strips where it says it needs lime. I don't understand how that's happened. But anyway, um, that's going to be fertilised and cultivated. And we're going to start on the harvest on field 18 of wheat. Um, but I'm kind of saying all of this now because it's going to start getting dark. And I want to make a start on some of this. So in the morning, hopefully... We'll have field 18 and have been fertilised and cultivated, ready for seeding. I'm not going to seed overnight. I was going to try and get ahead of myself and get it done. Look, that is just it's awesome. Awesome bit of kit. So, we've got the lights on. Don't need the beacons on, we'll be fine. Now, uh, we did the first part of field um, 18 and we got 160 bales. Now, at the end of the last episode, we still had a load of straw swaths sitting in the field on kind of the second half, maybe the last third, which something like that. Um, so we bailed that. That came out, as you've already seen in that clip, another 84 bales. <laughs> so it's crazy. So for Green Energy Solutions, you had your 150. They've already gone. You've got another 72 sitting here. You said you'd have them in 36s. So two lots of 36 is 72. Uh, and they're in stacks of 24. So you've got 24... 48, 72. 
Um, so yeah, you've got another 72 on their way to you very, very shortly. Uh, I thought, you know, might as well get ahead of ourselves. Now, we are going to be having a hayloft built. Hopefully that will be done, I don't know, maybe by the morning. We'll see. We might need to do a little bit of landscaping somewhere to put that in. I haven't really decided where to put that yet. We are going to get a hayloft. Um, I have bought Silas at the uh, workshop and at the store. We went to get the um, Arcus in auto stack to shift all the bales. Luckily for us, a new product had come in. They had an Ajuranti bale trailer. So he suggested it was a good idea, it works very well, and to use that. So we purchased one. That's why we're down 10 grand. Um, because we bought that. I'm going to need to buy a feed bucket or a pickup conveyor because the feed area for the sheep is getting a bit mucky and it needs a bit of a tidy. So, hayloft is the first thing we're going to do. That'll be another 90 grand gone. Um, but that's fine. We've got a bit of a buffer now and that's why the, the subscriber contracts, I said, it all goes out of the, uh, of the bank account to start off with, but when it starts coming back in, it's absolutely brilliant. So we are going to... Fertilise? Yeah, I'm going to fertilise first, then cultivate, I think. It doesn't really matter which way around. Um, I might even put the hayloft in here, somewhere here, you know. Just trying to think of a bit of land we own. But that also does mean we've got a bit of money to buy some more land. I was looking at things for sort of 50, 60, 80, 90,000. We might be able to get something a bit bigger, I don't know. I might even buy one of these grass fields next to us, you know, just to give us a bit more options for putting buildings down but also for more grass i've got more silage contracts and all sorts of stuff to be doing um so of the 84 72 went over there which means we had some more spare so as well as the two stacks we had of 16 that we brought in from the last harvest we've got some here as well so it's all good i'm not going to bail the stuff that comes off a of field um oh, i was going to use the uh, what do you call it because that's going to get loud really quick I was going to use, my mind's gone blank, the armor track. But anyway, I'm going to get fertilizing with this, then we'll get the cultivating in the go, and I'm going to get the harvesting. I'm going to do a couple of headlands, probably. I don't think I'm going to get the whole field harvested overnight. I'm just going to do the headlands, then we'll head off to bed, and we'll continue in the morning, I think is the best bet. I'm probably going to need some more fertilizer as well, because I don't think this is going to last. So I shall see you probably bright and early in the morning. I'll just sort of keep you up to speed what's going on. And, uh, yeah, a little bit more progress shall be made. Night, night. I had to sleep. <laughs> it got late, really late. Um, now, the contractors worked through the night tirelessly. Fantastic guys. Um, and they got the job done. Uh, we've got a hayloft. That's I'm well, going to have a look at that in a minute. Uh, what I am going to do first, though, we need to clean out the uh, sheep. What I did do before going to bed, whizzed over to the shop and we bought a little silage fork thing for the front loader. At some point, I'll probably get a pickup conveyor belt, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, maybe. Now, as long as we don't rev this too high, it's not too loud. Keep it low revs. See? No problem. You don't need to gun it. You, you can, but what I'm doing now, I'm not going to. It's just... I'm just too close to it. It's too loud. A few people have said, uh, mentioned that the feed area, because usually, this is where you put the feed in, um, the mess comes out here and they're saying it's not working properly, it's not coming out properly. It's supposed to be this side. It's like mucking out. That's the whole point. If you look at the way the, the trough's angled, um, so yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you've got to come in and you've got to muck it out. Whether you clean out from that side or this side, you know, it really doesn't make a huge amount of difference. I suppose the only difference being this side, you've got to open the gate and come in to do it. But uh, yeah, coming from this side with the equipment actually touching the ground, there we go. Clean them out and put them back into the trough for them. Like I say, doing it with a tractor, I mean, a lot of farmers do. Um, they use all various different equipment. I know the place where I stay, I assume their feed is full then. That's weird. Why has it done that? Wrong way. Oh, grass and hay. 
there's still space so why did that tip on the floor then it's a bit peculiar anyway uh yeah we'll, we'll work that way. while one of our special osmosis sheep uh walks through us amazing amazing creatures well that's going to be annoying if that stays like that Okay, maybe it was my fault. Maybe I just didn't have it over the trigger properly. Yeah, it was probably me. Okay, well, I'll leave that bit on the floor for the time being. It doesn't seem to want to be picked up. Uh, right, we have got today, or say today, yeah, it is a new day, isn't it? Today we need to get the rest of Field 15 harvested. I did a big chunk of it, did a couple of strips round. Uh, let me just jump out and do the gate. They're fine for water and everything else, so we're good. It's only 15, not producing huge amounts at the moment, but hopefully as we start to make a bit more money, we'll increase the amount of those we've got. Like I say, we've got a few cow contracts, uh, some interesting ones, actually. And we should get some cows and chickens from Lord of the Manor, according to his butler. And when the update comes, I think the silo here is changing as well. I'm trying to think, there's a whole list. Like I say, I'm going to go through it all when the update does come out. Uh, the last couple of days have been absolutely bonkers with regard to um, mods. Oh, I bought it over from the shop, didn't I? I bought the front loader over. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, not to worry. Um, where's the mirror? It's gone. Oh, right there. So, yeah, you can see we just we dumped all the equipment where we finished last night. It just kind of got left. But here we go. Here's our new hayloft kind of perched on the edge here did a tiny little bit of landscaping not too much leveled it a bit we've put a little bit in here and there it's all very very nice uh so we'll be able to do everything we do now will be loose to go in here ready for when we get um cows other than contracts i get for bales obviously contracts i get for bales i'm going to do baling but generally speaking for us on the farm we're going to be doing stuff loose what has also happened i think the um, uh, solar panel has been installed. Power company came in, uh, and they have. Oh, I've got to work out where to go. Oh, just got to go back here. We did put it where we said we got the large ones, so we've done quite well out of that. That puts out. What do we make on that? I'm trying to think. That's something like. Is it 600 an hour? The large one. I'm sure it's something like 600, isn't it? These are all just, I have them installed, I don't always use them. Solar panel, uh, 660 an hour. Okay, so oh, 600 works out about 14,400 a day. So it's going to be more than that, isn't it? So we're going to be looking at about seven or eight grand, because the whole point being, they place it, we get paid for the lease of the land, they get power as well. So at the end of the day, each day, we've got to kick back half of what it's made. So whatever we make in a day, half goes back. So that's the deal um from michael it's installed it's in we are good to go you know what they say power corrupts absolute power corrupts absolutely um i think it's something along those lines i might be paraphrasing slightly so uh right well this i'm going to just pull up and park uh we've got a lot of vehicles here now we I'm considering buying the armor track. You know what? I, I just don't want to let it go. We've got a bit of money here now. I'm thinking, you know what? Should we just buy it? I, let's pull it out there. That's off. Uh, right, so off of field 15, wheat-wise, we've already had 29,000 litres. That's going into storage. That was just doing two headlands. That was going around the outside and doing a bit of tidying. I'm going to go with the baked bean over to the store and we'll go and grab the maestro I didn't take back. So I got clobbered a little bit overnight. You can see where I leveled this out. And I came back too far. I took a tiny little bit outside the field. I don't think it's going to make too much of a, too much of a difference on our yield. I mean, it's a tiny bit. We should, we should be fine. I don't know. Um, yeah, we didn't give the maestro back. So we got... It wasn't horrendously clobbered for overnight fees. We did all right out of the whole situation. Um, so we, look, what we're going to be doing then, we're going to get... Um, I need to buy some new equipment. When we go over to the store to get the Maestro, let's get some more equipment. We've got some money. Let's buy a field. 
we'll go into the store, find out who's selling, we'll buy a plot of land, and we'll, what I need to get is a loading wagon, we don't have a loading wagon, if we're going to be doing loose and we've got this all on the floor now, that's got to be collected and put into the hayloft, so we need a loading wagon. Um, that's a good call. I'm not going to get a massive one, but we will get a loading wagon. Um, yeah, so this needs to continue. Like I say, I've done a couple of headlands round, tried to straighten off this edge here, tried to straighten off this edge here a bit, so hopefully we can get a worker going. Hopefully. I haven't had any problem with the header since that initial kind of, you know, it was a bit, a bit funny here and there, but yep, no problem since that. I'm going to let that carry on. So let's get to the store. What time is it? 7.33. I'm sure Silas will be at the store by now. Let's go and grab that cedar. And like I say, we are sugar beating this field. There's a lot of sugar beet needs doing. Um, so we're going to stick down. We're probably going to get way more than we need. Um, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. I still can't get over the... I mean... I love the fact, it's not just a case of lighting, is it? I mean, let's be honest. But it looks like there's that early morning haze you get. You know, it's so well done. And I'm going to keep saying that, but it is. Um, that Adjuranti trailer, again, over the last kind of 12 hours or so, <laughs> since putting that in and using it, um, I did say on the mod video, when I talked about it, I said, be careful... Uh, because I found with the round bales just driving over to do the mod review that they were shifting about and a lot of people have had a lot of problems with them <laughs> dancing about, flinging tractors around, the trailer, all sorts of stuff my advice, don't unload onto the trailer leave it as if they're kind of bales in the ether and you, you should be alright, I don't know but it, it, I assume there'll be an update there will be an update for it let's put the cultivator away tractor could probably do with a little bit of repair work actually looking at that down the right hand side maybe a little bit of squirt in it as well but we'll go over we've got enough to do what we need to do now so let's head to the store i'm pleased with the way that's placed actually i didn't want to put it out into a field which made it difficult to get to um, i was trying to put it down behind where the uh the cow barn is the kind of dairy bit but on that little bit of land there's a little triangle um let me just let me just show you what i mean uh where are we on the farm round here there's a little bit of triangle like a triangle of land here i tried to put it on there and it wouldn't let me it didn't like it at all i think there were collisions between the barn the shed where the milk comes and then the hedges and you know it just it was a no-go. I'm fingers crossed. I'm really hoping at some point soon the Rayboard Xylor comes out. Because what I might try and do is remove some of the trees from around these areas here. Actually, I don't know what I own there. Oh, yeah, I don't own that bit, do I? How do I buy that bit? Oh, that's all the periphery, isn't it? Uh, I haven't got 17 million to spare. Well, we'll see what happens. See what happens in the update. Fingers crossed. Um... And we'll do a bit of forestry and clear some of that out, maybe. We've got to do forestry contracts up in the actual forest itself anyway. But um, just trying to free up a bit of land here and there. So, the maestro is not the biggest planter. And unfortunately, the Great Plains YP 2425, which was a planter on 17, now isn't a planter. I think that's the way around, isn't it? That it's gone, frustratingly. Um, we're just checking the menu. I mean, I could lease that the the bigger one, uh, which is um, we have got the hoish the hoish the hoish maestro, the horse maestro, <laughs> which is nine meters, um, and then you've got the tempo L16, which is twelve meters. It's only three meter difference per strip I guess it's not a huge amount and we've already got this so you know what we'll stick with it um, yeah yeah so we're going to use that I'm pretty sure then under 
Cedars is where the Great Plains is, isn't it? Yeah, there. Yeah, that's why. Like I say, apparently in the, in the update that's coming, that is going to be changed. I don't know if that's, that's true or not. I really don't. Oh, tilt the engine first. Let's hook up the front seat tank first. That's got some in it, but I used that for finishing off field 21 for farm Eric. So that's going to be topping up. And then we need to put seed completely filling up the uh, the maestro. Fantastic. So we need to swap that then to sugar beet. Dumpy carrots. Took the picture this. <laughs> Little dumpy carrots. Right. So we've got to remember what we use here. Oh, actually, no, we haven't got to remember what we use here. Because that deal with Rob for looking after Delirious was that I got a pallet each day. Uh, and I don't think I haven't had one yet, have I? And I've had the Delirious for two days now. So potentially two pallets, I get three. I think he's done a deal with Silas at the store. I don't know how it all works. It all gets jolly confusing. And I don't know how far this is actually going to go. So that's the other thing as well. Um, again, I suppose we could be filling this with fertiliser and fertiliser at the same time. But I really don't mind going back later on and using the fertiliser spreader and just, just going for it. So we can get this going. Um, the uh, worker on field 15 has got a full grain tank, so we need to get over and empty that. I was going to buy some equipment, wasn't I? Don't worry, we'll get back to the store. We'll buy the bits we need. If I can get this going, we can always wander back over. Have a chat to Silas and see what's about. See what's a, you know, what's a good deal and whatnot. Um, I'm thinking, what my, my idea with the armour track was that what we would do is, because we've had that one as a loner, that kind of entice you to buy kind of thing that we would buy um, take that back and then someone else would get that as a loan and we would buy a new one which is kind of how it works but I don't know whether or not it's worth just asking so we can just pay him for that one I don't know there's got to be a way around it so let's her up drop it down and let's get some sugar beet in the ground. When we come to do the harvest on this, it is going to be gargantuan. It's going to be one of those really big ones. But again, it does mean we'll be able to fulfill two big contracts. And there's one, the another contract for, I think it's cows go moo. Um, want soybean and a bit of sugar beet. So we'll do a couple of bits here and there. I'm going to do my usual, we'll go in, we'll do a couple of headlands, I'll try and get a bit of a rectangle for the worker to do work in. To be fair, I haven't really, the last one when we were doing the, the um, cultivating overnight, I just put a headland top and bottom. Once I'd done a strip up this side, it actually did it pretty well on its own. It didn't require too much more than that. At the end I just went in and filled in a couple of little bits, but other than that, it was alright. Not bad. It's actually not using too much of that so we shouldn't have to refill too often again I don't know we'll see so I'm thinking uh, because we own Southview Farms as well now uh, we should be taking delivery of some chickens from the head butler at the manor um, plus we're going to buy some of our own I think we have got barley in storage still so we can feed them that's not a problem at all We'll go over there and we'll give them some... Do I have to give them water? can't remember now. Mine's gone blank because it's just feed they take. It's been terrible. You get to that age, don't you? And you just you forget stuff. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with this. I'll see you in a bit when we're on to uh, whichever the next part of this is. I haven't quite decided what we're going to do yet. So, let's go and unload this. The, uh, you can just see over the distance there, a bit of red there. So that's now carrying on with the sewing on field 18. I'm just going to unload this. 
I think the worker popped off for a tea break. Took me a while to get here, so they just nipped off. <laughs> As they do when they get frustrated with me, Phil. Not doing my job properly. <laughs> it happens. What can I say? Actually, while that's unloading, what we will do, let's have a quick look in store. What did the armour track, what do they actually, what do they sell for? Oh, that's a voucher. Where's the armour track? 92 grand. So for 92 grand, we could buy a brand new one. You can't change the engine size, size can you? Rim colour, front attacher, standard. So I'm, I don't know, what do you reckon? If we're going to get... Do you reckon we can get a discount off that? Just a little bit. At the end of the day, it is the... I've just noticed my slot count. One thousand and twenty of twelve hundred ninety nine. What? That's all the farm buildings and stuff, isn't it? Blimey, that doesn't give me a lot of leeway, does it? Not a lot to juggle with. Yeah, maybe we can get a discount. We'll speak to Silas because if we're going to buy the loaner off, and surely we get a little bit off that. Surely. Turn the beacons at the moment. Off goes the worker. Yeah, we should get a discount, shouldn't we? You'd think. Right, uh, so, off to the store. But I think I'm going to go grab a tractor, though. Because if we're going to get a loading wagon, we're going to need something to bring it back with. Um, and while we're there, we'll have a look at properties, fields, etc. That potentially are available. Um, and what we might do is, if we grab the loading wagon... We might drive out of the store, just pop across the Southview's farm, get the chickens sorted, I think, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we might as well do that. Um, then that will give me something I need to go and feed those as well at some point. And, you know. Let's take the armour track. Oh, mind you, I suppose that also depends on the size of the, uh, the loading wagon we get. Mind you, it's a mighty little thing, isn't it? Uh, right, lights on. It's going to need a bit of, uh, bit of work because I put narrows on it to do Farmer Eric's field uh, overnight. So it's going to need normals or wides putting back on. I do prefer the wides, actually. Customise. Uh, standard. Wheel weights. Wide tyres. Yeah, it looks awesome. So... Let's go, trusty steed. Okay, let's nip in and speak to Silas and see what we can do. We must be able to sort something out. Um, it's nearly 8 o'clock. Cool. So, loading wagons. Uh, where are we? 95 horsepower, 100. Yes, it's the problem is if I go any bigger, I'm already into more horsepower than the armour track can deal with. It can pull it, but I won't be able to use it as a loading wagon. You know what I haven't used? Obviously, these two, well, no, they're different, aren't they? The Repex was in 17. The Ceylon wasn't. You had the little... Oh, what was the other one that they used to have? The really small one. Oh, mine's gone blank. Oh, it was the Pottinger, wasn't it? A tiny little Pottinger. Um, Euroboss, that was the other one. Um, 46 grand. And that's got a capacity of 23,000 litres, 34,000 litres, 35,000 litres. Well, that's a big difference. 20 grand difference for only 1,000 litre capacity difference. Wow. So I was going to get that as well. I thought... The Tigo XR used to be the Lely, as I recall. Yeah, I want to get that. Oh, let's get it. We're going to get the shooter marker, I think. Uh, the shooter marker Rapid 580V which is going to mean to actually operate it, I'm going to need a slightly larger tractor, but I've got the Massey and we've got the uh, 
Oh, I don't even know. Oh, I don't know. The Deutz farm might might pull it. Trelleborgs or Michelins. We'll stick with Trelleborgs, I think. Quite like those. Uh, and that's it. So, let's buy ourselves a loading wagon. Nice. Uh, next up, then. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll go over to the chickens and we'll sort that out. Again, so that's it. Yeah, slots. Wow. Um, 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 once we start getting cows and all that, we're going to need more equipment still, aren't we? I was thinking of getting a larger cultivator, actually, because we've got the... Uh, the baked bean. So what's the one we've got at the moment? We have got... Let's have a look. Is it that one? The seniors we've got, haven't we? Requires 400 horsepower and it's only 8 metres. That's 500 horsepower, 18.2 metres. 500 horsepower for 12. Big jump up as well. 12, 18, well, that's both so. And then we've got under disc harrows. What are we looking at? That's a 16. 421 grand. 400 horsepower. Mm. We'll leave that for the moment, I think. <laughs> it's probably the safest bet. Uh, I think we're going to need to buy a mower at some point. I'm thinking now, if we can use the mower from Bearded Farms, we might do what we did on the other farms. If we've got silage to do, whether or not to buy that again, the Coon FBP for doing round bales, we'll do the silage bales round for contracts because that thing's brilliant and it's not a bad price either. So I think owning one of those, otherwise it means buying or leasing a square bale wrapper, which we could do, I suppose. We've got a square bale auto loader we just bought so i suppose that would work out a cheaper option but it does mean going over the ground twice so a few options to weigh up uh right what i'm going to do i'm going to have a chat to silas and we'll see if we can work out a deal with regard to the uh the armor track okay that wasn't bad we're down to three hundred twelve thousand. We have just bought the armor track from Silas from the store for 70 grand. So we've got a bit of a discount. That's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. It's used, it's been leased by a few different people or on loan. But I think I just don't want to get rid of it. It's a fantastic bit of kit. So thank you, Silas, for the loaner. Thank you for the deal. Um, what we're going to do now create demand at Rainbow Ridge stores. Is there really? What's it a great demand for, though? Oh, potatoes. Don't really come in. <laughs> Never mind. So what we'll do... We'll whiz along... I mean, this will pull it, but like I say, it won't operate it. But we'll whiz along to... Um, Southview's farm. Sort out getting the chickens. You know what I miss? I was just suddenly thinking, what we'll do is we'll bring some barley over from... Actually, this might be the tractor. We'll keep it. Rainbow Ridge, maybe. I don't know. Um, with a little front loader for clearing up and that kind of stuff. What I was going to do was get a little trailer, just a small trailer. Um, and then we can bring over feed, put it in the silo here at Southview's farm which is round the back over there, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> the silo here. So we've got the feed over here for the chickens when we need it. Um, but what we need, what I really miss, is the Joskin Three Points Tipper. That was a Black Sheep modding mod, I think, wasn't it? Oh man, I used that thing so much. You could use it for clearing up feed areas. You could use it for transporting stuff. I think it had a capacity of 4,000 litres, wasn't it? Something like that. But it was perfect. Absolutely brilliant. So, chickens then. Um, we're going to go with, what do we reckon? Let's go with chickens white. Let's get a couple of roosters first. A couple of roosters. I don't know how many this actually holds. Uh, I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute. Let's get chickens white. I'm just clicking. I don't know actually how many I've clicked yet. <laughs> What's the price looking like? I'll keep going. It's not too expensive, is it? Maybe if we spend... We've got 313. So if we spend... Should we do 10 grand? 
No, let's do 10 grand on them. When the total hits 10, then we'll stop. That might not be such a good idea, but we'll see. <laughs> 10,010 pounds. Confirm. Oh my days, they're everywhere. That's a lot of chicken. Okay, that's more than I thought was going to be. Normally you get like a select few that walk around the yard. Uh, we've got 152. And it holds how many? Um, garage. Owned items. Sheep, cows. That's a very good point. How do we know? Am I missing something? Glare and obvious. Roosters 2. Pen information. We've got two roosters and 152. But it doesn't actually say... Never mind, doesn't matter, we've got 152. They're going to be producing. So we, what we need to do now then, they're going to need wheat and barley, and kept, or wheat or barley, and kept clean. Uh, so, we need to get them some feed, as well as everything else we're doing at the moment. Let's get this back over to the farm, because we're going to be needing to use this. That's a lot of chicken. See, this is going to be the same problem I've had whenever you have these yards where the chickens are wandering free, that I generally run them over quite a lot. So uh, we end up having a lot of chicken pie and roast chicken and uh, chicken goujons and, uh, you know, any other food you can think of with chicken. I could just list them all, but there's no point. Right. OK, so we've now got chickens. Brilliant. That's cool. Uh, which way shall I go? Let's go this way. nearly back the wheat harvest is going brilliantly i think with what we've got now we've got another full trailer load the harvest is full and we've got a load in the tank already so i'm pretty sure that we can fulfill the contract for gypsum's bakery now um they wanted fifty thousand liters we can do that no problem at all um and obviously there's eggs which has rolled over from lone oak um so what i'm going to do is because i've got chickens and we're going to get chickens from the, from Marwell Manor, from the butler at Marwell Manor, for the lords of the manor, uh, they want eggs for functions and things they hold. Now, I've got to work out a split between the two, how many chickens they provide with how many chickens I've got, so that when the egg boxes come out, we need to do a split, because I've got contracts for eggs for a few different people, plus I've got a contract for Marwell Manor, so what I'll do is maybe one out of every four boxes so a quarter of them will go to Marwell Manor, the other three quarters will go for other contracts. When the other contracts are complete, all of the eggs will then go to Marwell Manor probably. There's there's different ways around it. Um, but anyway, we own the armour track now. The seed, seeding, planting is going incredibly well on um, a field 18. It's going to need refilling, uh, but it's done a big old chunk of it. I put a couple of strips in this way because it was leaving a big gap. It was turning around very early. Uh, that's going really well. So what we'll do, we'll go and grab um, the trailer. Uh, we'll take the first load of 29,000. Th we'll take it to Rainbow Ridge, I guess. That's kind of where things get shipped from. Uh, so that'll be the first 29,000 litres of the 50 for Gypsum's Bakery. But as you can see, it's going pretty well over here. Um, so when I get back, we'll have another load. If we look into our storage, we've got... 47,000 litres in storage already, so yeah, 47 plus the 29, plus 8,600 in the harvester. I'm going to keep the barley, that's going to be feed for the chickens. We've still got some oats left over, but not enough to fulfil the contract that I've got uh, for the police chief and their horses. Um, so that's why we're going to repurpose. So I don't know, 28,000, they needed 60,000. With a repurposing this entire field for oats, it's going to be way too much. Mind you, I'm going to need oats for the horses and that kind of thing. So in all honesty, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 
Right, let's get this done. I think I've just got hit for another hour's lease on the cedar. I think, judging by the fact that, or the planter, because we were on 302, weren't we? So yeah, we just dropped a sudden amount. Not to worry. Oh, actually, let's uh, cover that up. Right, so I'll deliver this. Uh, then we'll do the other one, then we'll wait payment. And, uh, Egyptians are pretty good. I know he normally waits on the eggs because, you know, we had a load on Lone Oak. I think he wanted 500 eggs. And I think by the end of the Lone Oak series, we had oh, something like 260, 270 or something like that. But obviously now it's done in litres, so it's a little bit different. So we'll have to work out how we're going to do that. But that's not a problem either. That's a good point, actually. I'm sure somebody did message me to tell me what the conversion was. How many eggs there are to a litre. I can't remember now. Not to worry. Right, I'll see you back there in a little while. Once we've got this delivered. Uh, and then we'll... We need a small trailer, don't we? I can't be taking this over... I suppose I can take one load over to Southview's farm to put into the silo, but then we need a small trailer or something so we can feed the chickens without having to use this every single time. This is a bit crazy. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's the next purchase then. A smaller trailer. We'll, we'll sort that out too. Uh, right. I'll see you back there. Oh, the old corn's going well in Farmer Eric's field, field 21. Wow, that looks amazing. We are back at the store and as promised there is more stuff uh, to buy. You can just see off in the distance there the straw swaths on field 15. Um, the harvest is going fantastic on there. Both um, loads have gone off to um, Rainbow Ridge for Gypsum's Bakery. I did two full loads, one out of the um, silo that, I, that I, you saw me taking and the second one was off the field. So I took just under 60, 58,000 litres instead of 50 that was requested. Um, and that's, that's what we got paid, whatever they were, the going rate was. So we're up to 337. So about 30, so we made about 38 grand, I think, on both loads. So that's most of Gypsum's contract complete. The seeding or sowing of field 18 is also complete. I've emptied the sower, so the seeder, planter, the sower, um, and put that one here simply because we've already paid for that and those are the ones that belong to the the store so we've kept it separate that tank is still full um, but what we need to do is this needs to go back now because um, that's not ours it does need to be repaired do I return it not repaired or how much is it to repair 250 yeah we should do really <clears throat> that's how we received it in good condition so we return that brilliant uh, what we are now going to do then is uh, we're going to get a trailer. I said I was going to get a small trailer. Um, we're going to get one. I'm not going to get the SEK. I'm going to go the other way, right to mods. And this is one that came out a little while ago. I'm going to go with the Flegel. I'd like the solid um, chassis ones. So I'm going to get the TDK160. I'm going to get the slightly larger capacity as well. I uh, don't want it bail loading. Hang on, bail loading with back, bail loading. Hang on, how many different barrel loading wagons have we got here? There we go, eighteen thousand six hundred. It's going to cost me twenty-one grand, but that's fine. We just made that from the from the Gypsum's contract, uh, and we're going to keep it on trailer borgs and uh, main colour. I'm going to go for the lighter Flegel. I like that. I like that better. So we're going to buy that for the farm straight away. Fantastic. Uh, I am going to get, at some point, I'm going to get another front loader or something for cleaning up over there. I might get a skid steer loader or something like that. I'm not too sure at the moment. Having just got the uh, the armour track, it's probably not such a good idea. But what we are going to do is buy some land, which I said I was going to do. Now, I said about getting field 13 over here out of the way. I looked at some larger ones, but I thought what I'd do. Now, these are both grass fields. Um... Field 13 is 95 grand, field 14 is 65, and I thought we'll put them next to each other. 
it gives us a you know, a fair size plot I mean, it's not huge but so we're going to buy field 14 we're going to buy field are we yes we're going to buy field 13 so they're both ours now um they're both grass so what i'm going to be doing is doing some grass work on those fields first then we're going to plow them um into proper fields and then those are going to be used for soybean and uh, something else we'll put something else over there but i did say we'd get some land before the end of the episode so here's what we're going to do we're going to take our armor track and we're going to feed the chickens now what i've also done is the trailer that was unloading the harvester on field 15 i've loaded that up with what barley we had in storage over at the main farm and i've taken that over to southview farms and that's quite oh that's not too bad in the back of there it does seem a bit high doesn't it but i suppose i could drop that down one section that's not the end of the world we can do that um so what we're going to do i've got a beacon on i need a beacon on but it on. I'm not too sure how much the chickens are going to take to you feed wise um, so what we do we're going to unload I know it seems a bit of kind of double handling at the moment but we're going to unload the main trailer into the silo and then we're going to put oh I'm going to squeak through there just about scrapes the uh, front mud guard um, yeah I'm going to put it in here and then we'll have to take it back out again. I know it seems ridiculous, but this has come from the main farm and we didn't have the other trailer yet. So that's going to unload. Like so. Which was fairly quick. And then this is going to go back over and carry on with the uh, the wheat harvest. Now all the wheat I'm now taking off that field, I'm probably... I'm going to put it in storage to start off with, but it's going to be sold. I'm, I've really got a use for it as such. Um, so we'll jump back into the armour track I know this seems a bit daft because we just unloaded it and we're going to load it back in again but I wanted a smaller trailer for over here so our barley 16,000 litres I said I don't know if I'm going to need the 16,000 litres for doing the chickens but We don't need the beacon on either. <clears throat> so, we'll get these fed. I haven't got to worry about cleaning the feed area just yet, but they will start producing. Now, interestingly, on the topic of eggs, I kind of came out of game and went come back in again because I wanted to check something. Oh, that's lucky that they all seem to part out of the way then. I don't think it was intentional, apart from that one that's going to walk behind me now. Um, and it's this, so what we'll do, we'll just unload and see how much this takes first. Fair bit. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. So the rest of it will go back in the storage. So here's the thing. I was looking up, because now eggs aren't individual eggs, you don't go around the pen and collect them, they're in boxes and it's litres. Each of those boxes is 150 litres. So I went on, and actually online, I know it sounds sad, I found a conversion chart, like a conversion table on a website that converts eggs. It was, it was, there was a whole thing about eggs generally, but there was a conversion chart you could use. And you could pick all different sizes of eggs, eggs with shell, without shell, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, and then what you wanted the conversion unit to be. So I put in large chicken egg um, with shell and then conversion to litres and it worked out the conversion was ab about it was 20 uh, large chicken eggs to a litre um, now if you then wind that up <laughs> that's 20 eggs to a litre each box holds 150 litres which means each box has got 3,000 eggs in it technically um, so yeah one of those boxes and I've cleared my contract with Gypsons so we're doing all right um, that's all fantastic I'm pleased now chickens are sorted they're fed we've got a new trailer we've got some new fields we've got a loading wagon uh, yeah and we've still got 154 grand sitting in the bank 
that we can do other bits and bobs as we need to plus there's more contracts coming um, and that is the end of this episode I'm going to carry on uh, harvesting field 15 and then we'll move on to whatever delights come next I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching